Good evening, afternoon, morning, or whenever you're listening to this, it's Let's Play! Yay! Yay! Joining us this week is Sorgatron. Oh, 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 nope, that's all right. Hey! <laughs> Hello, Ch ladies and gentlemen. We got Chachi. Hey! And returning to the show, Fuzzy! Yay! Hey! All right, uh, the first thing we always do is what have we been playing? So, Chachi, what have you been playing this week? Uh, I played uh, Jurassic Park theme park. Uh, it's a, a Facebook slash Android game where you build your own Jurassic Park. Okay. Uh, it lasted about 12 hours and my dinosaur died. That's <laughs> You're right. not doing good with oh. things you have to take care I of. I know, I know. <laughs> um, I was less upset by that. Um, because it was the acid spitting dinosaur, and I don't like it. Ch 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 yeah. Um. Uh. But I played. Uh. It was double XP weekend, so double you can you can bet your sweet ass I played uh, several, and I mean several hours of Call of Duty. Yep. Um. Oh, I went up a full prestige level. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You're a machine. Well, there's that. And we tormented a sniper for a good while, too. Oh, we'll cover that. Okay. Okay, Frank, what have you been playing? Black Ops. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling that's Simple. a thing theme. <laughs> best game ever until the next one comes out. <laughs> it's not the best game ever. You weren't here for the math episode. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to go back and listen to that. Because... Yeah, go back two episodes and, and, and hear the anger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was a fun show. Um, Sorg, what have you been playing? Oh, I don't know. I've been playing a little game on the iPhone. <laughs> Wars with friends? Uh, <laughs> called Star Wars. For the uh, audio listeners, yeah. uh, uh, he was pointing to his Angry Birds Star Wars shirt. Yes. Uh, yeah, there's some more of that going on. Um, there was also... Uh, I, did, I played the Monsters, Inc. run for a minute. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, it was free. You know, Plans for Zombies is free this week. Um, I I've already got an have iPhone. it. Yeah, I, I do too, but I didn't have it on the iPad, so yeah. I went and grabbed it. I have it for Xbox. Um, everybody's got it for something, right? <laughs> um, also, I downloaded, I, I, I put in for the season pass, and uh, I was playing, of course, Double XP Weekend with you guys on Black Ops 2 and uh, checking out the new maps. First time I've, I've sprung for them, I was like, I figure both Missy and I are playing it. It, it was, was worth it. If it was just me, I wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. I really wouldn't have. Uh, I did on Modern Warfare uh, 3. And the gun alone. Yeah, it's worth it. pretty cool. Yeah, Ace Keeper's <laughs> unreal. Yeah, yeah. Although, although when you cock it, it sounds like a toy, like mm. plastic gun. Like, <laughs> Yeah. But mm. it, it is awesome. Mm. And Wrestle fans letting us know, of course, that uh, the best game is uh, Backyard Wrestling 2. Um, so, so there you go. You won't, you I'm gonna you. destroy that kid. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm seriously gonna hurt him. That's how they roll in Texas, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he oh, needs he I needs have. to stop stealing our germs. <laughs> 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 that's for a different uh, different. Show. Yeah, that's for a whole other podcast. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Um, I actually, if, if anybody wants to know what I've been playing, I've oh been, right, Bobby, oh, wait, what Bobby, playing, what have you been playing, hey. buddy? <laughs> I've been playing Black Ops Two, of course. Uh, the What's Weekend again. Um, Soul Calibur Five, I picked up for twenty bucks, which uh, I played a little bit this weekend. Nice. Uh, it, it's pretty fun. Um, it's a Soul Calibur game. I haven't played Ezio yet. I only played a couple, t couple, couple rounds as uh, Raphael because he was one of my favorites in the other ones. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I got kind of screwed out of some gold because of Magneto, and I still haven't gotten them yet. Um, but I got Havoc this weekend, and other Facebook games and stuff like that. And I got you know Cooney in the mail, so I'll be playing that this weekend. Bobby, you make terrible life decisions. Nino Cooney's amazing. No, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about all the Facebook games. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the guy playing Jurassic Park. I played yeah. it for 12 hours until my dinosaur died and they tried to suck money out of me. You kill non-existent animals for a living. <laughs> no, I don't. That's the problem. Maybe I maybe I would spend more time killing non-existent animals if they paid me to. Oh, and, and did anybody play the challenge this week? Uh, Super Monster Tate My Condo? I did for a minute. Yes, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did for a second. Tamagotchi. Yeah. Oh, no, no, didn't do that one. No, oh, no, no. I, 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 start, I started it and um, I'm afraid to look. Who's <laughs> playing it? Uh, Afraid to look in my. Uh, Chris is playing. Chris is playing. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I was watching somebody play it. Does that count? Yes. Because uh, 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 Chris was playing it when we went out for dinner last Friday. Yeah. Like the and her, time. her thing is uh, super evolved now. Like it grew a beak and it has legs. And I just knew that it kept pooping. And she yells at it all the time. During dinner. Yeah. Yeah. That's one yeah. thing you don't do at the dinner table. Right. You don't poop at the dinner table. Don't poop at the dinner table. Uh, uh, going back to Call of Duty for a moment. Um, <laughs> Fuzzy and I... Uh, amongst uh, playing together on Sunday, uh, <laughs> we were playing Domination on uh, Slums, and uh, it got to the point where, no, you weren't there yet. Missy was. <clears throat> but uh, <coughs> there's a point on the, the level where if you're going to capture uh, Domination Point B, you run through a doorway through the main way, and uh, the, the flag is right there for you to capture. <laughs> um, well, we tried that several times. And every time we'd get to the doorway, a sniper would take us out. And it got irritating. Um, so we started having fun with the sniper. Yes, uh, we did. Their, their team was not covering alternative paths to get to the sniper. So we would uh, basically race to see who got there first. And then just utterly destroy the sniper uh, to the point where uh, it got to fuzzy sticking uh, sticky grenades directly to the guy's head. Highlight of my night. And uh, me walking up behind him and sticking my gun barrel to the back of his head. I did that once or twice, too. Yeah. And I mean, like, you couldn't see... Uh, any space between my gun and his head. I feel like I overheard this this happening. Oh yeah, you were uh, in the room. I, think I, w- I was working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, but was- we. I also learned uh, via uh, experimentation with uh, Call of Duty's new editing software that you can edit more than just your view of the game. So uh, I went back to those two games. And I edited together what I called uh, Fun with Snipers 1 and 2. And it's all of the highlights of Fuzzy and I destroying the sniper in the game. Uh, and that's available that's for probably you. Probably whenever, I think it was you, you got up right behind him. Uh, and um, you would fire it off a shot beforehand. And while you're looking behind him before you shoot, he looks to his left and his right. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm standing over the guy. Like, if I sat down, I'd be sitting on his back. <laughs> I should have teabagged him. But, uh, yeah, I fired one shot and then just waited a few seconds to see if he would do anything. And he, he looked to the left and he looked to the right, but he never moved. I laid on top of you during Chachi plays. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just destroyed him. But uh, that's available on YouTube. Um, if you do a search, I believe it's under Chachi says at gmail.com. You'll find the video. If not, it'll be on the insert coin webpage tomorrow. Nice. I've already written the article. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it'll be posted, uh, post this video. Excellent. So, all right, let's move on. Okay. Um, our next segment is gamer swag. Uh, I, I want to start this one off. Um, I, I, this is a repeat of what. I said I mentioned a couple weeks ago, which was these uh, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Astoria, and I know Chachi also has this in his possession <laughs> oh, right now. Wait, wait, you mean this? Yes, I mean this. Although mine is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I got the backwards edition. You mean this? This. I'm, I mean, Wait, this thing is wrong. amazing. It's no, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> what are you holding up? <laughs> that's cigar aficionado. Cigar aficionado. <laughs> aficionado. Doesn't everyone get that? No. Cigar, cigar aficionado? No, just or you. Cigar. Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean this? No. Absolutely no. not. No, not Rage in the Cage? No. No. Yes. no. None of that? Just no. The Godfather? The <laughs> um, I, I, The book is amazing. If you don't yes. have it, you should run out and get it. Um, I will tell you my only dislike about this book. And when I do, uh, you will see how awesome the book is. But if you, uh, if you turn to the spine, you'll notice that there's this nice sleek design of green and gold, uh, a picture of the master sword, more 
elegant green and gold, and then you get to this ugly uh, splotch right there on the this Dark Horse logo. Right. It's all right. No, it doesn't eh. belong there. They could. <laughs> no, no, so, no, no. <laughs> for those following along at home on uh, audio, Sorg is reading the, the world of Doctor Seuss. I, I, I have no problem. This is my swag for the week. I have no problem. <laughs> I think there was a game at some point. I have no problem with Dark Horse putting their name on the I mean, comic or on the book. Okay. Yeah. For, my for problem the, is they didn't change the logo to match the rest of the book. They could have put a pony on. No, they could have put. Uh, they could have changed the logo to uh, the gold imprint, like the rest of the outside let's of the be, book. Let's be honest. This is a really, really big nitpick, right? Yeah, I mean, this is like everything well, is amazing with this book except for this one thing, right? Look at, look okay, at this artwork. right. Okay, I just want to put that sure. out there. Yeah, no, you're no. not wasting twenty bucks. Because no, no, of this no, thing. no. Uh, I the book I've had it for uh, twenty four hours now. I opened it when I got it, and my mind was blown. Yeah, so uh, look at this artwork on this. If you can look. No, no, not in the Doctor Seuss oh, book. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. In, in in this, look at this. I feel like I'm QVC now, but it's worth shilling this thing. Yeah, and it's amazing. Order, uh, Frank. Frank, we're not buying Windex. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's trying to sell Windex. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, is that your? Yeah. It, um, order it from Amazon. Uh, yeah, you'll really save yourself uh, fifteen dollars. It's a lot cheaper, actually. Yeah. When it, like I said earlier, when it first came out on Think Geek, I think it was like sixty nine ninety nine. Which, yeah. Jeez. if you paid them, and it was and it was out of stock. If you paid that much, I feel sorry for you, because it, it's on Amazon for like twenty bucks. Yeah. So I got mine for eighteen. Yeah. So uh, and it's definitely worth it. So Sorg, do you have any gamer swag this week? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Other than the shirt on my back. Uh, no, this is a gift. Though. This, this is actually a gift for Christmas uh, well, from my mother. So, I mean, yeah, so it counts. You know, no, nothing new, really. I can't. Uh, no, yeah, nothing new. No, no, no. Frank, you have anything? Um, I actually uh, picked up a figure from a game uh, over the weekend <laughs> from Transformers Fall of Cybertron. They came out with a series of figures that are actually really accurate to uh, the vehicle and robot forms in the game. And they're very nice, very well-designed uh, figures, unlike some of the uh, cheaper, like, more overly complicated ones you get nowadays. It's just a really nice figure of Optimus Prime and Shockwave that have nice. a lot of design cues going back to the original 80s Transformers. Nice. Cool. Yep. Very nice. Um, Chachi, I believe you have a very special gamer swag. Yes. Uh, as we promised last week, it came in time. So uh, we can do the Loot Crate unboxing. Now, I've already opened it. I know what's in there, um, which is why I was able to say on Twitter today uh, that Bobby and uh, Sorg will jizz their pants. <laughs> um, Sorry. First, uh, let let's start with the box itself. Uh, it was late this month. Okay. Uh, by two days. <laughs> Did they sell out? Yeah, they sold out this month as well for the first time. Uh, uh, but they uh, <laughs> they were waiting on these boxes to come in. They were custom printed, and they were waiting on them to come in. And they uh, did a Facebook poll to determine whether or not we would mind it being late, and <laughs> no one cared. <laughs> um, but I mean, uh, a simple box. They have the uh, the hashtag and the the code on the back. The QR code. Yeah, that's a yeah. QR code. Um, now is this? Now this is how it comes. Like uh, that's uh, this there. is this is this, this is how is it shows how it up on your stoop. Yeah, this is how it shows up in my mailbox. I uh, it this box um, sealed, mm. and then you open. Ba, ba, ba. It. Uh, Tips for the perfect unboxing, which is new. Uh, they mm -hmm. want you to, uh, to share the information and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get uh, every month they give you a rundown um, card of what's in the box. Mm -hmm. What's in the box? Um, and then uh, advertising on the back, the uh, discount codes and stuff like that. Hope no heads are in there. All right, so this month, and we'll save the t shirt for last, uh, it doesn't all. 
I've gotten three t-shirts with it in the... But what size are the t-shirts? That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, about uh, three weeks or two weeks before they send out the loot crate, mm-hmm. uh, they send out a, uh, a survey asking you what size t-shirt you would want. Oh, nice. And when you sign up, they send out... Or one of the questions is, what size t-shirt would you like? Okay. 8XL. So, all right. This month, <laughs> uh, they gave us a can cozy that nice. features a picture of a lark, uh, a lark, a shark with a laser beam on it. Nice. And the Loot Crate logo on the back. Brain Bits, which is caffeinated candy. Perfect for your late night gaming sessions. Bacon Lip Balm. Wow. I'm jealous. I dare you to eat all the brain bits in the <laughs> palm <laughs> the one time. Uh, That's gross. This is a Tetris heart wall oh, decal. Nice. You know who would like oh, that? We'll pop a lunchbox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's not getting it. <laughs> all right. This is part one of what will uh, excite Bobby. But it is a Mega Man car air freshener. What? They sell those on Think Geek, too. Yeah. But you don't oh, have a car. It smells it's like a, awesome. It's a Cool Rush scented air freshener. Cool Rush. Hey, speaking of like cars, did we ever get that picture of Bobby in his car? No. Does it smell oh, like okay. wet dog? I don't know. I haven't opened <laughs> cool it. Cool Rush. <laughs> um, and the final thing, uh, there's usually like one big item in uh, each loot crate. Uh, something that would cost more than everything else in the box. Uh, the last month it was a tin uh, Spider-Man lunchbox. Mm. Uh, and I'll bring it next week so you can see it. And then uh, the month before that, they put in a uh, either a nerd domo or a superhero domo. Along I with, I, I think I did hear something about yeah, that. Yeah, along with a uh, stuffed honey badger toy. Um, this week's or this month's big object is a T-shirt. And uh, as always, it's all nerd, uh, nerd stuff. Mm-hmm. Ba, ba, ba. Whoa! Oh. I'm paying for that shirt. Oh, uh, it's a transformer TARDIS. Yes, transforming. Uh, yes, the transformer. I've TARDIS. seen that on Woot before. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, I need to find that. I need to find that. So yeah, that is uh, this month's loot crate. As always, I am 100 percent happy with what I received. Oh, I need to sign up for this thing. Um, yeah, uh, uh, go over to lootcrate.com. It is. Uh, it ends up being just under twenty dollars a month. Okay. Um, if you're gonna sign up, uh, put my name in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will get money off. <laughs> it would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, might, I might actually do that because uh, see, I was signed up for two months, and the two boxes I got, I I don't know, they just, I don't know, didn't didn't have anything that great, and what it was I, after the first time you posted about it, and you had some awesome stuff in the first box you got, so that's why I signed up, and then I just wasn't too happy with it. What box <laughs> did know. what boxes did you get? Uh, September and October. Uh, you're have to refresh my memory. I don't remember what. Um, I got a mustache, some pixelated glasses. Um, oh, uh, come on. The pixelated sunglasses alone were worth it. Yeah, I can't wear non-prescription yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, uh, get contacts. They, they, fit my, they actually fit my big head, but the thing is I look <laughs> that's silly just for wearing f- two pairs of glasses at one time. That's just for fun, uh, that's just for fun drunk time. Yeah. So. Okay, uh. Is that all, Chashi? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. I actually, I actually, Lootcrate.com. I actually had something I wanted to bring up. It's a, uh, it's quasi gamer. Uh, uh, I'm a big He-Man fan, uh, and I didn't know that they were replica swords until we saw one at the Tunesium <laughs> during Chachi plays, signed by the producer, executive producer, uh, the the guy that ran Filmation. By the way, uh, go check it out at Tunesium downtown Pittsburgh over on Liberty Avenue. Um, but I found out, and I, I don't know if I looked for it or how I came across these. But if you go to McDonaldArms.com, they actually make they have two different makes actually of the original Power Sword. The He-Man Power Sword. Not available in Happy Meals. Not available in Happy Meals. Or you can actually get the She-Ra one, 
if you're so inclined. Are they plastic or? No, these are these are metal. Uh, the this one at is... the two museum was plastic and probably safe. Was it for plastic? You. Yeah. I thought it looked metal. Uh -oh. But there is. Oh God, it's uh, really big, really really big. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, they, they they. I mean, this is like a uh, an armory uh, page where they're making like all kinds of like replica swords and stuff. So so yeah, this is like the full on kind of deal, I think. So. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. He-Man swag. He-Man <laughs> swag. And I've been playing the He-Man game on my iPad, so that connects. Yeah, All that right, counts. go back to you, Bobby. Okay, um, our next uh, segment, um, two news stories I want to talk about before we get to our big news story of the week, which is our boss battle. Um, the first news story, Bioshock Infinite is gold. That means they're printing the game as we speak. What, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Chachi. I honestly don't care. I thought you were excited about this. Game. No, no, not at all. I, really? I, I really? Am, I am refuting your idea that the, that the story is. Or are we, the only okay. The only thing where this is a story is okay. We know it's not going to get delayed again. Is that right. is that yeah, where we're coming yeah. from with this? Yeah, it, it's it's a finished game. It's this, not also, be delayed it's, again. it's real. This is on, this on is the, it's real. <laughs> on Sorg's note, I'm not going to celebrate or cheer something. Uh, that shouldn't have been delayed anyhow. Uh, yeah, but they're putting a lot of stock into this game. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, no I, reason for it to be delayed. There were. I want. I refute that uh, only because I read the one the, the article about it and about the delays and uh, a Listen, little bit about the video game process. I do process. not care if you spend eight months making the rocks look good. Okay. Okay. Don't care. They wanted the game to be awesome. Don't care. It's going to be awesome. You don't That's have an appreciation, Chachi. They, game, okay, appreciation for development and the time put into every blade of grass that you stomp on in your Assassin's Creed. Here's the real story. They killed Duke off. Okay. <laughs> what? And they had to put him back into the game. Okay. Pre pre it was just pretty much the rock running around. And then they had this excuse that they wanted to put 3D back into the game. So that's why Wait, it was you, delayed. Are you connecting this to G.I. Joe? Oh, that was G.I. Joe. That was G.I. Joe. <laughs> that was G.I. Joe. <laughs> so any any thoughts on this, Frank? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, hey, so it, I mean, it's a game to. I'm excited about, but I got to finish Bioshock 1 first Man, before I even just, think about I'm picking excited. it. I'm just talking to two fan right people here. that aren't real fans of Bioshock. I, yeah, I mean, no, no, I, and I am a fan of Bioshock. I'm a super fan of Bioshock. I just haven't finished the game. I love it, though. Um, Actually, I, th I've, I heard that if you buy the PS3 version of Infinite, you get Bioshock with it. Ooh. Which, yeah, which I don't have... Bioshock. So that wait, have you have you played? Do you you played Bioshock? I've played right? a little bit of Bioshock, but so this you're, one this you, one looks better to me than the other one. Did. So you're not even you you you're not even I going have, into it knowing like how in depth that game gets. Yeah. So yeah, you're like, I'm oh, this is all right, today. and 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 it's and this is based on I like this concept better. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, really? Because when I play, what the thing about Bioshock is, I think um, the, the reason I got into like Call of Duty was I, I saw. I played a demo and liked how cinematic it was, and then I started playing the multiplayer with you guys. I still like playing the campaign because of how cinematic it is. I've played the demo of the um, first match. And, uh, and, and the Bi Bioshock, I love how cinematic and, and immersive it is as an environment, in a believable uh, uh, environment. Uh, so you it want was a believable environment? And play assassin's creed 3 i want to but i need time to do it that. happened uh, <laughs> it really happened oh yeah it really happened um yeah and that's another game where i love i love how it feels like that game breathes ever since the first one right yeah. and they've gotten better and better with it mm -hmm. um and, and and i was worried about bioshock infinite being up in here and everything not having that confined feeling um, but yeah, I watched one. I watched one of the playthroughs that was connected to that Verge article they did, uh, where they followed the the head guy on that that game. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's great. It looks so. amazing. All right, Bobby. Okay, our next news story is sad. We're sad to report. OneUp.com, GameSpy.com, and Yugo.com have bit the dust. Uh, me being a, a gamer all through college, I loved the the OneUp site. Uh, when it became the community, 
Um, I was friends with a lot of the ed- editors on that and the PlayStation magazine. I talked to them all the time when I was in college and stuff. Uh, really nice people. I feel sorry that the, the website is – all three are gone. But I, I can see why. IGN bought all three, um, and I think they're trying to cut costs. And it didn't make much sense for them to have one up and IGN that both focused on video games and the other three – like, you know, they were all three the same sites basically competing against each other. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to do that when you can just, you know, just have one yeah, IGN, is- you know? Yeah, it's simple math. It just mm-hmm. consolidate and send people to one spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't spread your resources too thin. And I mean, I mean, you don't need three, four sites to do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and, and it's one of those. I mean, it, go ahead. GameSpy uh, was the one for me that I kind of because that was my source for a good bit. Um, and just like GameSpy, that was the that's what we did multiplayer on. Like, yeah. That was what. Mm-hmm. Yep. What did that technology, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, you know, after after Kali and, and stuff like that. But that was, that was a whole other thing. Um, uh, I, I, now it's just building everything, of course. But but right. that was the precursor. That was like, oh, I started on this stuff. Right. So. Well, it, it's bound to happen. I mean, uh, Nintendo Power was first. Yeah. And now all this stuff is following. I, it, yeah. It's a consolidation. We don't need all of these sites. Exactly. I mean, look at stuff. I, I There's... Hardly anything I, 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 I was into five years ago that's still Ooh. around, you know. Right. So it's always going to be a moving target. So Yeah. The one thing everybody's saying about they'll miss uh, from 1UP is the podcast because they really had a lot of great podcasts on 1UP. Mm-hmm. Uh, really funny stuff. Yep. Uh, they had one from Japan that they did every two weeks or so. It was, it was really neat stuff. But, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry to hear about that. It's one know, of those, those what did guys. they buy it for, you know? Did they yeah. – did they, what – why did they buy it for? Just the talent, or not the name? I I, I, th- I think they did because they folded one up into, and in Game Spy and you go. That I guess sense. they they laid some people off from IGN and and brought some over from one up to IGN and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know. It's it's a weird move. I mean, it's not weird, yeah. but I mean, you know, what I mean, yeah, it, it was kind of a, eh, different. So. Yep. Um. Okay. Our next thing is. Oh, uh, suppose. Do you have any thoughts on that? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> Frank okay. is unattached uh, yeah, to Frank's... sites. <laughs> he's, he's, well, there's he's only there one real well, one site that you should be visiting for your gaming news. Bobby. What's that? Insert coin to begin dot com. Yes. No. Eventually we'll buy them when all. it's updated. <laughs> now we have to. Hey, I did a post today. Did you? Uh-huh. Okay, good. I I, I have to uh, get my PS4 review up, which segues into the next segment: the boss battle. Recently, the PlayStation 4 was announced at a two-hour, god-awful long news conference. Uh, it, 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 was, it, was, it, was, it was a good news conference. It was just really long. Um, the PS4, what are your thoughts, Chachi? What do you think? Did you see any of the conference? I did, a little bit. Um, the only thing I was happy about was the share button on the controller. Mm-hmm. Um but I, I don't I don't really care otherwise. Um, they didn't say anything. Yeah. I, they, <laughs> Other than showing us a brief picture of the controller, they didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. It was a, a, a two-hour smoke-blowing festival. Hey, look at these tech demos. Yeah. Hey, we put some flashing lights over here. Check that shit out while we not tell you about the product that we're releasing. I can't wait. Pl- I can't wait to play that old man game. <laughs> it's just the old, man's old man simulator. Man, <laughs> I, yeah, no, Sony, you fail. Yeah, I just read a little bit of a, a little bit of the coverage, but it seemed like they spent two hours not doing much of anything, and they two hours. For a console that they did not even show. Well, you can the, the thing with that, I, I I can see why they didn't show the console yet. You don't want to give everything away something. before E three. You want to save a little bit of it, save some of the mystery for you don't you don't want to give it all away in the first date, so to say. Um, a lot of the games they had were pretty neat. I thought, um, like that that new one Knack. Uh, that was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> um, engine with the ridiculous name of I think it was what P- Panty Raid. 
<laughs> I think that's what they called it. And and the the game was called Deep Down. So were they subjecting us to a deep down panty raid? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Uh, a lot of people are saying that was all rendered, and there's no way that could have been real game. And that's footage. the argument we always get when it comes up to these yeah. new con- consoles, isn't it? So it's like, oh, here's a bunch of games. This is what we can do. And even even some people that were like there, like in person, were like, well, yeah, I saw some of the hiccups. And really, there was a couple cool things like, oh, that dust effect was pretty cool. But otherwise, it was like, yeah, this doesn't feel too much more grand than what I'm playing right now. There, you know? there was one. There was one point in that demo where it actually did look like a game. But then again, it, like he moved like a little bit, and then the dragon like charged at him, and then it went slow motion, and it looked like it went right back into a cutscene. Yeah, I was like, okay. I, I don't know. It, it, the only cool thing that kind of came out of this, I think, was really the uh, the, the share function the, the, that we are going to get Guy Kai. Mm-hmm. So all that stuff that I've been uh, talking, you know, you guys have been sick of me talking about online the last few years, it's actually getting applied to something like this. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering if something like that's going to happen with something like Xbox. Um, it, 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 I think I think that streaming and the sharing, we're seeing that with Chachi here with the uh, with the uh, Call of Duty stuff. Uh, but to have that integrated with everything. Thing, you hit a button, it goes to Ustream. You can watch your friends play. I can just be like, let's see what Chachi's doing. Maybe I'll learn something, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, ver- versus having my wife do it and I watch what's going on. Um, you know, it, it, I, I think that's going to help because those things are really big right now. People mm-hmm. love watching other people play video games. Mm-hmm. And, and now you're going to be doing it even easier because it seems like it's a little bit of a complicated process still on the Call of Duty game, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not, it's, it's not the quickest thing is it no so uh and it takes a while to render and you're like oh, let's go sit there da, 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 and you have to deal with that you gotta be really dedicated if you want to do something like that versus let's hit a button it's already up in the cloud boom there it is you know uh, um i think if they deliver on that promise i think that's going to be a game changer and i'd like to see what xbox is going to do uh otherwise yeah xbox also registered a domain name called xboxevent.com mm-hmm. so hopefully soon we'll get some info on that system word is april April? Oh, yeah. good. Word, word out there April is 1st. April right now uh, oh. that I've been hearing. So, Hopefully right. not April 1st. <laughs> April Fool's Day! <laughs> it's really a Wii U! It um, goes into your mind! In your mind! <laughs> All right, Bobby. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, oh, uh, we didn't get to our challenge this week. Uh, our challenge this week is called Last Fish. It's on um, Google Play, Amazon, and um, iTunes for 99 cents. And I um, think I was just reading the book about that, actually. One fish, two fish, um, red fish, blue fish. I maybe. Uh, <laughs> is it? It's on both, though. Yeah, it's on. It's on uh, Google Play, Amazon, and iTunes on Android and right. uh, on Apple. Are there? Tri- I see there's ninety nine cents on this one. Uh, is it? Is there a free version or anything? A trial we can get? I don't. I don't know if there was a free version. I got the game free on Amazon for their free app of the day. Okay. Um, I, I can tell you it's worth it. It's it's a really fun game. You just go around. You move your control. You move you move the phone around and pick up like dots and stuff. And you have to avoid those black dots. Uh, it's it's really neat. It's kind of a neat game. Yeah, it's pretty like, addictive. It's kind of like a lower not lower end but like it's simple game. Yeah, it looks it looks a lot like Limbo would. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Which I love and I love played a bit of Limbo over the Christmas break. Was loving that thing. Um, I just bought it. Well, I have to enter my password still, but I just bought it. But there it is uh, for you guys. Want to check that out? Yeah. Right. So that's our challenge this week. And uh, for Sorg, Chachi, Fuzzy, myself, uh, keep gaming, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>